Welcome to Aggressive Science. If you haven't seen this video yet, making its rounds on Vimeo and YouTube, you should check it out. It shows what appear to be bunnies that are glowing in the dark. But of course you say to yourself, this can't be real. This is fake because technology. I saw it on the Big Bang Theory. Or maybe you said to yourself, they spray painted those bunnies. How dare they spray paint bunnies? Well, hold on. They didn't spray paint any bunnies. But all moral and ethical considerations aside, this is a really cool bit of science, and I'm gonna tell you why. If you saw last week's video where I discussed Steve Urkel's Cool Juice, you'll know a bit about DNA already. But if you don't, you can go back and check it out. Did you go check it out? Obviously not, because you would have had to pause this video, open the other video in a new tab. Who wants to go through the trouble? So here's a quick rundown. Dioxyribonucleic acid. All they did was take an embryo out of a pregnant rabbit, inject it with some proteins from a luminescent jellyfish, and then insert it back into the womb of the pregnant rabbit. Okay, okay, so I guess that could be considered worse than spray painting the bunnies. And the stuff that they injected into those embryos are called proteins, and these are what the DNA sequences grow into, which then further tell the cells what to become. So this collaboration of scientists from Turkey and Hawaii extracted proteins from a luminescent jellyfish. The DNA makes proteins, then the proteins make the cells. And the proteins they put in these baby bunny embryos cause their cells to grow and fluoresce bright green. Now six of the eight only glowed bright green when you put them under a black light. But two of the bunnies glowed as brightly green as the ooze from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to Secret of the Ooze. It might surprise you to find out that this technology isn't new. The green fluorescent protein, or GFP, was first sequenced in 1992 by Douglas Prazier, as published in Gene magazine. The difficult part, and why 22 years later we're still researching and still plugging these proteins into animals in which they don't naturally occur, is because genetic engineering is anything but predictable. We need to know how these proteins grow and change the other cells around them. So what good is this? I mean, besides the fact that glow-in-the-dark bunnies is probably the cutest thing I've ever said in my life. Well, it means we could be closer to manipulating and fixing the genes that cause things like Ebola virus, hepatitis B and C, HIV, dengue and yellow fevers, and oh, I don't know, cancer? So keep being curious, keep discovering, and you could do something that changes the world. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you like this sort of thing, check out my articles on aggressivecomics.com or head on over to fightforscience.org for more science-related videos. 